Hey, what's up, JR Noble here, and I wanted to shoot a quick video to show you the fastest and easiest way to transfer songs out of Machine and into Ableton. Now, if you've been using Machine at all, uh, or, or maybe you're just getting started with the machine and you're not really sure how to integrate it with Ableton, or maybe you've been using machine with Ableton and you've been frustrated with um, finding a faster way to kind of get sounds out of machine and into Ableton so you can finish your tracks. Well, now I'm going to show you the process for, do for doing just that. All right. So if I go over here to machine and open up machine. So what we have here is inside a machine, I have a loop that I created just to show you an example for this. All right. And I'll play that for you just so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so now what we want to do is get those individual sounds out of machine and onto their own tracks inside of Ableton. And if you've uh, maybe you've tried using the MIDI uh, region here where you click and select the MIDI and drag that into Ableton. And then what you have to do is route the MIDI back into a uh, machine so that it triggers samples inside a machine. And it's like a whole kind of workflow. It's it's a long drawn out process for what you all what ultimately what you really need is to just get the audio out of a uh, machine, right? So then you have this audio option, which is you can click and drag that in Ableton. However, the problem with that sometimes that I've found is that the audio, if you have warping turned on, the audio, does, it doesn't really do a good job of warping the audio once you drag that into Ableton. So the, the easiest way that I know of is it takes about a few steps to set up. And uh, once it's set, though, uh, I'll show you a fast way for making sure that it stays that way. All right. So. What we have here is you'll go into where you see this plugin section and then this knob right here. It's kind of the mixer section. So we'll want to go to the sound layer inside of here, inside of this kit, and then make sure we click on output. And then you're, you want to be on the audio tab here out of this audio aux and MIDI, right? So then on the audio tab, we're going to choose a destination for each sound. All right. So uh, for this kick boom bap, since that's one of the sounds I want to export, I'm going to click on this destination and tell it to go to this external two. All right, we're not going to send it to one, and I'll show you why in just a second. All right, so the kick is going out. Now, what you'll hear is that we lose the kick, okay? So I'll play this back for you. But we're going to get that back in just a second, all right? So we're telling it to go somewhere other than the output that it's playing on this channel for machine right now. So then we go to the snare and do the same thing. We're going to send this out. Uh, we're going to choose sound output on the audio tab go to this destination and choose external three now. So the kick is going out of two, the snare will be going out of three, all right? And then this other sound, this stick hit, we're gonna send that out of five for now because we wanna send the hi-hats here, the hats are gonna go out of four. Now, because I have all of these hi-hats in the same group uh, and I just want all of these hi-hats to go out on their own track, I'll select the group level on this and I'll go to the output and same with the audio tab. And then under the audio section, I'll choose my destination of four. So now the kick is going out of two, the snare is out of three, hi-hats are out of four, and then that stick hit is out of five. And so to get that out of machine in Ableton, we need to make sure that we have tracks set up for um, those channels. So our kick here, if you look, uh, you open up your I.O. section here. So command option I if you're on a Mac or just click this I.O. button. You go to choose audio from and we'll choose the machine track that we have here. And then after machine, you want to click this drop down menu and where it says machine out two. Now we want to choose uh, machine out two for our kick because we sent kick kick out of machine here on audio two on external two, right? So if I go to the sound level, you see the destination external two for the kick. So that means this will be listening to that kick. And if so, if I hit the record arm button and I choose the in so that I can hear this, so now we have our kick going out of there. All right, and we'll do the same for the snare. So we, we choose our machine track, machine, then we choose three. So that means our snare should be coming in on this track. We'll record arm and hit the in. And then we have our hi-hat. So we choose the machine track for our audio from. Then after that, in this next drop down menu, we choose four. Then we'll record arm it. We'll record arm all of them and we'll choose in. So that way we can hear them. Uh, and now I'll just create a new track for the stick hits, right? So I'll hit Command Shift T. Or actually what I could do is I can duplicate, and another easier way would be to hit Command D and duplicate this track. Command R to rename it, and we'll just call this stick hits. All right, and then now our audio source is from machine two, 
and we're going to choose machine out five. So that way we get all of those coming out. So you'll hear that we have that entire drum beat back again. All right, and so now the next step, once we've chosen the output of machine, we've selected our inputs and set up the tracks inside of Ableton for those, then we just simply record those down. Now you can record it down here in Ableton by hitting record or just hitting this button right here um, to record all of them in a session view. How, or if you prefer, you can go to the arrangement view here and hit this record button and record them down in the arrangement view. So if you're recording a song down, you might not necessarily want to record it in this view here because you want to record track out the entire song. So you might go over to this arrangement view and now because these are record armed, then you just hit record and you'll see that they record down into the arrangement. All right, so then all we have to do is set these back to auto and turn off the record arm and we will have that beat. And I'll just mute out machine so you can just hear the drums the way that we recorded them. So that is the fastest and easiest way to get things out of Ableton. And here's an extra tip for you, right? So if you, if you like this setup, and this works really well for you because I use this all the time. Uh, the one thing I would do is I would suggest creating a template now. So save this as a template. And so that way, every time you open up your session, it's already there. It's already routed. It's already set up. Now, I have a lot more stuff that goes into that is in my template, but I have this saved as a part of my template. And the easiest way to do that is to, if you hit command comma on a Mac, uh, you go into file folder and then click on this button where it says save current set as default, hit save. And then everything that's in here in your session at the moment is going to be saved as that template. All right. And so uh, just keep in mind that if you have like a whole session going on inside of machine here, it's going to save that session too. So I would save, um, I would clear this out or just like I keep kicks and snares and hi-hats. I have these things kind of preset already in my machine. So that way when I open up the session, I have those ready to go too inside a machine. So it's just an extra layer of, um, of, um, preparedness, I guess you could say, of my session. So in my template, I have those things already going on. So save that as a template. You'll have the routing already routed here, and then you can have it named the way you like it and just stem everything out really quickly and easily. All right, so that's the fastest and easiest way to get a song, transfer a song from machine into Ableton and have it on its own individual tracks like you see here. So if you got any kind of value out of that, be sure to hit the like button, drop a comment below to let me know um, if you have any questions about that. And uh, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll be uh, sharing more videos. All right. So I will talk to you again soon. All right. Later.